the acquisition of Jude Bellingham, officially making him a part of Real Madrid's squad, marks the commencement of a new era for Los Blancos. This era is set to see the infusion of young and talented midfielders, departure from their previous seasons that combined seasoned midfielders with youthful prospects. Let's encapsulate the notable transformation of Real Madrid's midfield over the years. In recent times, the club has been bolstered by a triumvirate of midfield maestros who never failed to captivate the Santiago Bernabeu faithful with their virtuoso performances. This remarkable trio comprises Luka Modric, Casemiro, and Tony Cruz, collectively known as MCK. Together, they have amassed a plethora of trophies, including the illustrious Champions League, Club World Cup, La Liga, UEFA Super Cup, and Copa del Rey. They've also reaped individual accolades of the highest order. To exemplify, Luka Modric's Ballon d'Or win in 2018 took him by surprise, as he joined the ranks of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Tony Cruz, on the other hand, etched his name in history by accumulating a record-breaking six club World Cup trophies during his career. Casemiro's reputation as a formidable defensive midfielder speaks volumes, consistently disrupting the opposition's advances with precision. Real Madrid coach, Carlo Ancelotti, had the privilege of managing these exceptional talents. Nonetheless, Ancelotti was cognizant that the trio might eventually part ways, and Real Madrid needed to prepare for the transformative shift that loomed on the horizon. Subsequently, Real Madrid embarked on a rejuvenation phase by procuring a fresh midfield talent. This time, they secured the services of Eduardo Camavinga, an 18-year-old French midfielder acquired from Rennes for €31 million. Euros. In his maiden season, Ancelotti remained partial to MCK as his preferred starting trio. However, Camavinga did receive opportunities to showcase his abilities, albeit in limited playing time. Ancelotti engaged in candid discussions with Camavinga about his role and minutes on the pitch. The former AC Milan coach assessed that the player still lacks the experience required to secure a starting role, despite his frequent appearances from the bench. Camavinga has consistently exhibited his best form and played a pivotal role in the previous season's victory against Manchester City. The former Wren player actively contributes to the team's attacking plays, and his remarkable patience has paid dividends, particularly following Casemiro's departure to Manchester United. As a result, Ancelotti has increasingly deployed Camavinga as a starter in the current season. Thus far, the young Frenchman has featured in 59 matches, registering two assists. Casemiro's transfer to the Red Devils prompted Ancelotti to embrace a more youthful approach in midfield. The arrival of Aurelien Chouamini, Real Madrid's latest acquisition, exemplifies this shift in strategy. The club invested a substantial 80 million euros, equivalent to 1.2 trillion rupiah, to secure Chiamini's services. Ancelotti lauded Chiamini's qualities and predicted a significant role for him in the future. The former Chelsea coach described Chiamini as a player who exhibits unwavering determination, persistently pressing opponents when not in possession. Real Madrid appears to have developed a penchant for signing young midfielders annually. Their most recent acquisition is Jude Bellingham, who was recruited after bidding farewell to Borussia Dortmund, where he proudly represented Di Borison for three seasons. The club's management expended a considerable sum to secure Jude Bellingham, signing him for €103 million, Euros, equivalent to 1.6 trillion rupiah. Bellingham has committed to a long-term contract at the Santiago Bernabeu, extending his stay for the next six years. Remarkably, before joining Real Madrid, Bellingham had expressed a desire to join Liverpool. The Reds' management presented an impressive offer of €150 million, Euros, equivalent to €2.4 trillion. Rupia. However, their efforts to secure Bellingham for Anfield proved unsuccessful. Coach Jurgen Klopp displayed a gracious attitude and harbored no resentment toward FSG in light of the outcome. With Bellingham's arrival, Real Madrid further fortified their youthful midfield lineup. Prior to this, Los Blancos had already bolstered their ranks with Eduardo Camavinga and Aurelian Chiamini. 
Bellingham's time at Borussia Dortmund has been marked by impressive statistics. In the current season alone, he has notched a total of 14 goals from 42 matches played. Bellingham earned high praise from Rio Ferdinand, who regards him as a future star and one of the finest midfielders to hail from England. Real Madrid has frequently employed a midfield trio this season, featuring the likes of Luka Modric, Tony Cruz, and Federico Valverde in significant matches. For instance, in the Champions League semi-finals against Manchester City last season, Modric played a pivotal role with consistently stellar performances. Despite his advancing age, Modric continues to be a linchpin in El Real's midfield, making a total of 52 appearances. Alongside Modric, Tony Cruz remains influential despite his 33 years. The German midfielder has delivered six assists from 52 matches played. Cruz stands as a pivotal figure for Real Madrid and has even served as an inspiration to Federico Valverde. Valverde expressed his admiration for Cruz's playing style, and this season, Valverde secured a key role alongside Modric and Cruz. The 24-year-old midfielder has played in 56 matches and scored 12 goals. He frequently featured in pivotal matches and contributed two goals to Real Madrid's triumph over Al Hilal in the club World Cup final. In addition to this trio, Los Blancos boast a selection of other top-notch midfielders, including Aurelian Chiumini, Eduardo Camavinga, and Danny Sabolos. This season, Chiumini amassed 50 appearances and provided four assists. Camavinga has often been deployed as a left wing-back due to Ferland Mendy's frequent injuries. Despite being just 20 years old, Camavinga has become a fan favourite at the Santiago Bernabeu. Lastly, there's Danny Sabolos, who has accumulated nine assists from 46 matches played. According to Ancelotti, the former Arsenal player is known for shifting the course of matches when he's on the pitch. While the trio of Luka Modric, Tony Cruz, and Federico Valverde has maintained remarkable consistency in their performances, Carlo Ancelotti faces a challenging decision if he loses one of them. Luka Modric and Tony Cruz have reached the twilight of their footballing careers, and while Modric has announced plans to extend his contract for another year, it signifies his final season with El Real. Tony Cruz, on the other hand, aspires to remain at Real Madrid until retirement, yet this doesn't guarantee him a guaranteed starting role, as performance may wane over time. Conversely, Federico Valverde appears to remain a reliable midfield option. He initially took up a role on the right wing at the onset of the previous season but has since ceded that position to Rodrigo, who consistently excels. The Brazilian winger impressively netted 19 goals from 57 matches. Valverde has previously expressed versatility, noting his comfort in various midfield positions. To preemptively address the potential decline of Modric and Tony Cruz, Ancelotti has the luxury of integrating quality midfielders like Camavinga and Chiuamini into the mix. Next season, Eduardo Camavinga is set to reclaim a central midfield role, with Real Madrid actively seeking a new fullback in the summer transfer market. Furthermore, the arrival of Jude Bellingham in the midfield offers Ancelotti a wealth of quality player choices for rotation. Incorporating these quality midfielders aligns with Florentino Perez's ambitions to construct Los Galacticos at Real Madrid. To achieve this ambition, the Los Blancos squad must swiftly secure a new attacker, as the team currently lacks a spearhead. Karim Benzema and Mariano Diaz have both opted to part ways with the Santiago Bernabeu. Karim Benzema, initially inclined to remain at Real Madrid, made an unexpected shift this summer, opting for Saudi Arabia, more precisely, Al Ittihad. This transfer will secure Benzema a whopping annual salary of 200 million euros, roughly 3.3 trillion rupiah. His decision was not solely monetary. Benzema also found Saudi Arabia to be a more comfortable environment as a devout Muslim. On the other hand, Mariano Diaz's contract won't see a renewal. His contributions at Real Madrid were perceived as lacking. In response, Real Madrid actively pursues various talents, exploring prospects such as Harry Kane, Kai Havertz, Romelu Lukaku, and Kylian Mbappe. 
Regarding Mbappé, the latest reports indicate his rejection of a contract extension with Paris Saint-Germain, leaving him with just a year on his current contract. PSG management, displeased with his stance, aims to offload him this summer to avoid losing him for free next season. Real Madrid emerges as the leading contender, having cabled an offer of 200 million euros or approximately 3.3 trillion rupiah. Mbappe, however, remains inclined to fulfill his PSG contract. The comment section serves as an arena for sharing insights on Real Madrid's remarkable midfield transformation. Do you believe that Jude Bellingham's presence could be the key to Real Madrid's triumph across various competitions? Your valuable opinions are eagerly anticipated, kindly share them below.